Hey, this is Faye and today, today the new leg of the Sky Builder ranking goes live and this means that there will be a lot of new recipes that require a lot of new items that are easily farmed from mobs or gathered in the world. Now if you're here for that information, pay attention to the text and the visuals in the video, not my voice. And if you're bad at multitasking, like I am, and or you just want to focus solely on the information, or you just don't like the sound of my voice, then feel free to mute this. I will not talk about anything in the audio that will be essential for these recipes. Mostly because at the time of recording, I have zero idea what these recipes are gonna be. And I've been running around in circles around myself, you know, like a dog, trying to figure out a way to make sure that this video goes up as soon as possible so that you guys can get the list of items that you will need so that you can profit over this early rush. And the way I figured out to square that circle is that I have recorded the audio ahead of the patch and then I put together all of the maps and all of the <laughs> items that I could possibly guess might be in it. And then as soon as the patch goes live, I can screenshot the actual recipes, figure out where the items that are not from the diadem comes from and then give you guys a neat overview over where to get these. Sadly, I have no chance of recording on the Tuesday, so you will have to wait to get that video where I will talk you guys through where to get what. But right here, right now, you will have these overviews. As soon as I get my ducks in a row, I will also make a list that will be in the description. And who knows, we might even get super fancy and I might finally figure out how to do timestamps. It's kind of embarrassing that I have no clue how to do this, but I don't. Yeah, well, I have categorized these by geography and I guess the argument could be made that it might have been smarter to categorize it by the crafter. But my perspective here was kind of my usual lazy one, like how can I farm the most amount of items in the least amount of time? So I figured if you guys are already on a map farming one thing, then you might as well want to know what else on this map might be relevant for selling. And that way you can just pick up a few of those items as well while you are already there. And not everybody can see all of the recipes. If you don't have a crafter of a certain level, you don't have access to actually see the recipes. So you may miss out on items that would have been on the very same map that you were on just because you couldn't see them. Anyways, that is, that is my line of logic. I hope that they will be like this. Uh, if it proves super mega difficult to actually categorize them by geography, then I guess future me will just have to put in an edit here. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I will try real hard to include all of the 40 plus items and the items that these items may be made from, but maybe I can't due to the time constraints. And if this proves to be the case, then I will prioritize the lower level stuff because it's easier to get for the most people. In case a drop may be gotten from multiple maps, I will do my best to mention where they might be gotten alternatively. But I can easily mess that up, so I apologize in advance if I miss out on where a drop might be gotten. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I'm just ignorant to my detriment. Yeah, I'm looking at you, stupid butterflies, with your low drop rate. <clears throat> anyway, as said, I will eventually make a proper video on this soon as I have the time for it and actually can sit down with it. But you know, real life is real life. Yeah, I guess I could just put on some music, but I feel that would lack a little bit of that personal touch. Plus, I, I'm not quite sure what royalty-free music might be relevant to the game. And so, yeah, erring on the side of caution here, and this is me talking. And if you're already this far in, I guess you don't really mind that so much. It is a little bit on the ramblier side, I will admit. But again, mute button, information, skip around in the video if you need the information. Otherwise, welcome to Faye's Rambling. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I absolutely need to put this in here because as of writing this, we have reached those magical 500 subscribers and 
I am in a light state of disbelief and almost panic, but I'm also so unimaginably thankful. I made this channel because I had to explain Mutamix to several people and I thought it was easier just having a video that I could link to people. And then I ended up sharing some of the lore of the game and some of the stuff that people might have missed in the dungeons. And wow, now we're, we're at 500 and 500. Yeah, I, I can't even words right now. Like I can't even imagine a hundred individual, let alone five of them. Because, I mean, those are 500 people with names and lives and interests and they somehow found my channel in the sea of the interwebs and the particular big and chaotic sea of the interwebs that is YouTube and they clicked the subscribe button and... I make sure for all of those that I can, I check you guys profiles, I check your channels out just to get an idea of who might somehow by mistake or intentionally hit that subscribe button. Because I am a YouTube noob. A huge noob. That is, that is not a word, I guess. And I have no clue what I'm doing here. Like, I am literally that dog from that meme. And because of this, I guess, I have such a hard case of imposter syndrome in relation to this. And I'm just wondering, when are you guys gonna figure out that you accidentally click that subscribe button and click it off? Which I guess is a little bit silly, but I feel it is also very humane for, for or human for, for most of us. Because a lot of us do have imposter fit in our words, words. A lot of us do have imposter syndrome. It is a thing. But yeah, um, in case this did not come across expressly enough or directly enough, thank you guys so much. I love to read and respond to your comments and I'm so very happy that you find these things helpful or interesting or maybe even relaxing and I'm, I'm super mega awkward here I realize. Uh, I'm just happy that you're here so thank you. <clears throat> All right. So I have actually no idea how long it will take for these visuals to show on the screen, but I will try to make it fit with the audio here. If the sound's confused, it's, it's because it is. And at the very least, half of this is absolutely unscripted. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's see. We are, we, we do have some minutes to work with here. So I guess what I want to say is if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for encouraging this silly hobby of mine. I appreciate it vastly. And I'm very happy to have you on board. And I hope that I can make a better structured video on these items in the future. But for now, this slideshow with my ramble on top of it is what you're gonna get. Anyway, happy farming. Happy gill making and have a really wonderful day. Bye.